Yo, what is going on? Hope you guys are just having a good day today. Welcome to the stream. We got some crazy news, some updates, some price action. So let's go ahead and just get on into it. No exhausted face. I don't know what that means, but let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hope you're doing good tonight. We got the little ace suit, you know, just chilling with us tonight. We got the Gundam wing just chilling on his perch. So let's go ahead and get started, baby. Let's get started. Hope you guys are doing good. All right, let's jump right in. All right, fam. So essentially, VV has came back from the last three days. They were it were a whirlwind, says VV's official telegram at the Licensing Japan International Trade Show for characters and brands in Tokyo. Yo, this is crazy, right? What up, Matt Morrison? What's going on, man? Crypto Maniac, what is up, man? What's up, Kason? I believe it's your real name. Hope you guys are doing good. Let's slide this over to Tad. And uh, anyways, man, they just got back from Licensing in Japan. A cool trade show. They got the booth set up. It says NFT on the top, as you can see right there in the picture. Let's go ahead and click on it. Let's see if we can find uh it won't let us zoom in any further than that which is kind of lame uh but it says nft and i you know i don't know if they you know what that is here you know i don't know if that's their whole booth like you walk into it um i'm not really sure but that's pretty cool it's got the vv it's got the setup there and essentially oh omi flipper says were you located at booth 1-5 let's see here let's see I didn't even see that. Let's research that link real quick. Dang, what the heck? It's a whole like layout sheet. So we already got people researching on this whole thing. Uh, yo, yo, Kyle in the house is PK random. Cryptomaniac says translate those letters. Man, shoot. There's like hier hier hieroglyphics to me. Um, that language is cool though. It's like, look at that. That's, that's some art. It's like an art language. You know what I'm saying? It's not like English is so boring next to you know japanese the japanese language so that's pretty funny though like what 1-5 like how do you even i don't even know that's crazy um uh, anyways only flipper said that that's so funny but yeah so anyways it's got the japanese right under it you know the nft right there so that's very interesting guys like i kind of did a little research i went to the website myself as well pulled up a few things 301 exhibitions uh, in 34 sectors held an annually, okay? Your next one's coming up in June, it looks like. Or actually, that says 2020. They need to update that. That's for sure. But if you go... Okay, let's take a look at the price, okay? Things are starting to... Um, you know, it's, it start, it's basically hitting the floor levels again. So it's back down. So, you know, we're still at the floor. And as this teacup and handle pattern, in my opinion is starting to look like possibly we could be getting the news any day soon i don't know we'll see what is today i said it's a couple days in the long term could be a few days so i don't know what day that is the 23rd but maybe we expect something you know next week you know uh in next week news so we don't know all right so let's keep an eye on that as this uh as this floor as this as this uh basically this price action tends to go sideways okay so that's what we're going to look out for now back to the japan licensing guys translate the letter yeah okay so all right so let's go back here elo picking up more omi on the on the low low yeah yeah yeah, yeah. have to man that's that's I, that's could be the lowest price it could go i don't i don't know if i see this breaking down below if it does break down then that's that's good for all of us as far as you know accumulating more omi right so here this is the one day chart so you saw volume kind of shore up right in here if you look down at the volume bounced up to the next level we got like a, 
uh, I don't know what percentage correction that is, but if you look now, it's kind of forming this uh, bullish pennant. It's at the bottom of the pennant. And as you can see here, with this teacup and pattern uh, that I've been telling you guys about, um, it's, you know, this could definitely bounce off that bottom um, level of the pennant and uh, start looking like, basically start looking like a bullish run, but we'll see, so okay. So it's got two, we had the first bull pennant, now we have a second bull pennant right here that we're looking at, okay? So we got these two major ones. We I think we had one down here, a little tiny one, but uh, two big ones and the news could definitely make this thing go up. It could go up naturally just because it is at the bottom of the pennant and you know people that know patterns might actually see this and say okay we're at the bottom it's going sideways volume down here is you know kind of it's going kind of low on volume it's not it's it's you know it's sold off as much as it probably could sell off so maybe that will also push the price back up to you know this top of the pennant and then if it breaks out that's a bullish sign and even further if it if it touches this level here and breaks past that that's another uh you know another good sign it could correct and then go up so anyways that's my drawings on all of that um <laughs> that's my drawings on the chart guys it's, it's a little messy but i hope you guys can understand my thinking on that um hope you know hope that helps All right, so Dogecoin, man, what the heck? What is up with this Dogecoin, man? What is up with this? This is insane, man. As the same pattern, remember I was showing you guys last night, um, it was a good example of sideways movement and then the volume down here just kind of drying up and then what it, What do you know? Boom, you know, so it, it, it was hitting price, this price level here, it, it kind of just, you know fair price right here this is about i guess what it was worth and people weren't dumping it and kind of kept it consistent around the you know a little bit above a penny and now it's at three almost four cents what the heck it already went put it went to uh half of four cents or point four five cents that is insane what a rampage doge hits 50 billion market cap omi should hit 20 percent of that yes or no Omi will hit more than 50 billion. I'll tell you that much, okay? Omi is going to be more than 50 billion, okay? We look at... I've been trying to make this comparison a little bit. Because I, 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 I've been researching stocks since I was like 14, you know? So, um, you know. I ain't no newbie when it comes to stocks, you know? I like to do VV videos, but before I came over to Vive, VV... I was researching on the stocks, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I don't lose, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I don't lose trades, guys. So, um, actually, I do lose a couple, but, you know, I mainly win. Um, all right, before I start sounding conceited, I will move on to the next subject. Uh, market cap, 92 billion in Snapchat. So, Snapchat, the social media platform, they don't really like being called a social media platform. They like to be calling a technology company. Uh, a photo company, right? Kind of differentiate themselves from everything else. It says, uh, Snap is an American camera and social media company. Look at Veeb. Veeb is a collectible app and a social media company. What do you know? What do you know? It's at, Snapchat is at, what did I just say? 92 billion market cap, okay? 92 billion. And I'm sure last week, a few days ago, it was a little bit more, okay? Do I think VV is going to be more than 50 billion? Yes, I do. Okay. Um, I think at, at Alfred Kahn himself, he used to make it like a billion dollars a month or something crazy off of Pokemon. Not financial advice. <laughs> Thank you for saving me, man. This is not financial advice. This is entertainment only. Um, hashtag disclaimer. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. Still like many people don't know about Omi VV yet. Yeah, Omi is definitely the future for sure, man. And the gaming that they're going to bring to it, like... The collecting is one thing, right? Because you're you're able to buy NFTs and you don't have to be some kind of crypto dude. And then you have gaming, which brings in everybody, right? So if you can game with your collectible, that's gonna make it super, uh, you know, gamified, obviously. It's gonna make it fun. Um, but then there's the gamification of it where the social media aspect comes into it. Then you can start putting serious 
valuations on on Vivi, okay? If you're a smart investor, this is something you're doing. And people are like, it's it's like one billion already, bro. I'm like, one billion? Are you kidding me? That's like nothing in crypto, okay? And we're talking about a real use case, a real app outside of crypto, okay? Look at Snapchat, almost a hundred billion dollar company, okay? So this, you know, we we ma let's max out the chart. And then it really just went on a rampage last year um, towards the end of the year, you know, so it was just chilling for all these, you know, for the first few years and then just t make it made a rampage right here because people started figuring out, yo, we can actually use this user database. We can use this information. Uh, VD is going to be so much more, in my opinion, than than Snapchat. Snapchat is great, but you have like Instagram, you have like, you know, if you go to Twitter, you have the fleets now like there's so many like competition with snapchat but with vv there's not really any competition to what they're doing they're carving out their own niche space okay there's not really anybody that is really competing with them right at this current moment and even if they do the vv is just too far ahead that five years of content built up in their app says uh reese from the, their team yeah check out safe moon and safe bars i'll check that out i'll check it out um i don't know what that's about um, Akita Inu and Shibu Inu coins are on a tear as well. I've heard a little bit about, I didn't know those were actual coins, that's, but that's funny. Underestimate the 12 year old with the parents credit card. Boom, baby, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about right there. That's what I'm talking about. Exactly, look at Fortnite, billions of dollars. Okay, a bit, bit, let's look at, let's see, how much is Fortnite worth? It's really that, the, you know, epic. 17.3 billion. Um, I wish they had a stock. Like, if they had a stock, we could actually see their actual market cap. Um, because I guarantee you'd be more than 17 billion. You'd take like 10x of that, right? 17 point whatever. I think it was like, we'll just say 0.5 just to be safe. But it's really, a, you know, if you put a 10x value on that, which is what companies like to sell for, 170 billion, you know, market essentially cap. Because that's what you do when you buy a business, is you basically 10x. The, the current what it's worth and then since uh then you can kind of see o obs reconnection would we uh we go down for a second did we go down i don't know let me turn my wi-fi off on my phone maybe that will help i need to just get that wired wired internet um anyways that is absolutely crazy video game skins brought in something insane like 200 billion in total in game purchases exactly let me close this out because i think this is what's causing the problem the so, omi we already got that price action we're back to the japan license here look at this here creators expo so creators expo making sure that music be going still you know what i'm saying if you guys don't like that music let me know and i can just turn it off that background music i don't know if you guys like that or not yes we did all right cool um so all right guys so look at this exhibitors video game anime game sound creators designers photographers illustrators calligraphers authors writers of manga comic artists businesses matching sell your ideas and designs and ideas sell your plans arts find your business partners visitors publishers and newspapers pr sales promotion product planning department from enterprises so you got like this whole mixture of people come together to, to do business okay this is what the, the what the uh, international exit uh, licensing event is all about it, licensing Japan, all right? All right, so we go over to let's go over to their Twitter. You can kind of see like some some uh, stuff going on, okay? You got like let's pull this image up. Um, I see these characters back here. I'm not really sure what this stuff is. Peter the Rabbit, we know what Peter Rabbit is, okay? Um, you got this pink blob looking thing back there. Um, so you got some stuff going on in the works, you know what I'm saying? You got this giant saw on the ground. No big deal. I don't know what that's all about. You got Bandai Spirits right here. Look at this Bandai. You got Red Rabios, whatever Rabios is. Um, so this is another angle uh, back there. It looks like maybe. I don't know if that's Hello Kitty. I don't think that is. But um, these could be like up and coming brands too. You know what I'm saying? Like you can see a lot of different brands and a lot of different mixture um, in that booth. Omi will be listed Thursday on Binance as Iron Man. Iron Man, you can't, uh, it's, you're getting blocked because you're spamming. You gotta just like, 
put in um, I'll show like no I actually you have to like not spam okay so and your comment will be seen so that's all you have to do uh, to fix that so Iron Man just do like something simple and then your comment will show up by the way so that's why your comments not showing up um, all right cool we got a little shibu back there look at that so this is their um, let's keep looking guys let's keep looking at their Instagram we got I actually pulled up their we got Molang right here let me know if you guys see anything Kimba the White Lion yo Kimba the White Lion that's low key uh is wasn't that like the OG like Lion King and then Disney kind of like stole that Kimba the White Lion isn't that the actual like Lion King like the actual one yo we got Astro Boy that's Astro Boy right there I'm pretty sure we got Astro Boy again I think that's Astro Boy right could be wrong um what else we got we got some other stuff too right here I have no idea. Uh, Twisted Wonderland. You got a bunch of stuff. Beyond. All right, all right, guys. Let's take a let's like look at that. Peter the Rabbit. You got that UK brand. You got some other brands, and then let's go over to their Instagram. You can kind of see more stuff. Like you can see Thomas the Train. You got this dude right here. Uh, you got was that a Gundam? Is that Gundam Wing? I don't know if that's Gundam, but it looks like it. It kind of looks like a, an almost like a OG with like Gundam suit. Uh, let me see. What else can we find? This is our Instagram, right? By the way, look at that Astro Boy pandas. Kimitsu, Kimitsu and Jujutsu Ka Kaisen. Okay. I uh, see. I I want to. Is that Jujutsu Kaisen again, right there? Um. I've been trying to. I'm about to get into that that stuff on uh, the Tezuki Os Osamu is the Walt Disney of Japan. Interesting. Okay. Okay. That's a big deal. Then that's a big deal. Good find, Zy. Appreciate that. Very interesting. Uh, thank you, chat. Thank you for for commenting. Um, we got The Walking Dead. Tom and Jerry. Look at this. Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry okay that's one of the brands that's been speculated a lot in the VV community that it's gonna be brought to the app through uh, one of the brands let's see we got Pez right there what else we got is that it kind of looks like Charmander but I don't think that's Charmander I think that's uh, not Charmander Tom and Jerry right there front and center we got where's Waldo where's Waldo right there can you can you see him? Can you see where's Waldo? It's right there. Uh, what else we got? Oh, The Simpsons. The Simpsons. Tetris. Pac-Man. Guys. All right. So guys, that's crazy. He did Astro Boy. Barbie. Right here. Look at that Barbie. This is crazy, guys. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. What else we got? I wish I could read Japanese, man. It'd make my life easier. Dinpo, Dent, Dentsu. We got Pepper. I don't, Pepper, you know that 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 uh, Android Barbie. Oh, we got Toki Doki in the house. What's up? That's what I'm talking about. Yo, Peter the Rabbit again. Boo boo. Hanshin Tigers, the baseball team of Japan. Baseball, yo. Baseball is big in Japan. All right, I would love to see some um, Japanese baseball. I grew up playing baseball, man. Baseball is one of my favorite sports growing up. It, it's a little bit harder for me to watch unless I'm eating popcorn with a hot dog and I'm doing my thing, watching the game. Uh, but I would love. I, what I do love though is watching teams I, I love to watch. You know, but if they're not teams I, I don't love, then it's hard to watch. But a Japanese baseball would be fun to watch, man. Japan is low key. Uh, it's I don't even know if it's low key. Oh, Street Fighter! Look, well, look. Ooh, ooh. Is that say? That's not Sailor Moon. Okay, that was Sailor Moon. Mr. Jaxel says, "Post my photo submission to the wrong Twitter." I can read Japan uh, Japanese. 
Pepe would be dope. Bring in the hype beasts. He says Elo. All right, dope. So, dang, dude, we're finding some good stuff about these brands that are there. Popeye, dang, Monster Hunter, dude. These are some of the brands that are literally on the app, guys. This is insane. Okay. So I think what we're doing is we're finding some really good content, and obviously nothing's confirmed here, but this could be some good, uh, good stuff right here. Hanshin Tigers is what the uh, ZY was saying about the baseball team, Giants. This is uh, San this kind of looks like San Francisco Giants from uh, obviously America, so that's kind of interesting. But I, I bet you know they have their own team. Japan National Rugby Team, that's pretty cool. New Zealand's big on that. Pez, look at this here. You have AT Field. Not really sure what that one is. You got the Simpsons again. Powerpuff Girls. You got Powerpuff Girls. Dang. Bart Simpson's like right in your face right there. That's so crazy. Pac Man. What if we found Pokemon? And Waldo, where's Wally? My DreamWorks. DreamWorks, okay. Look at this, you have Despicable Me, you got the Minions. What if Minions came popular, you know what I'm saying? You could collect them. That'd be nuts. Oh, Pokemon, Sonic. Pokemon and Sonic, guys. Jake Paul is going to win. Get some anime, Real and, Real and the Kids. Pingu, for sure. Get those uh, anime back in Japanese. I, what are the dates on the posts? So this one is all the way, let's see what this one is. Let's see, uh, dang, oh, March. So this is a couple years. Kind of what I expected from these older posts. March uh, 2018, which is actually when VV was kind of in the works with some of these licenses. So who knows, guys? Duckle. This kind of looks cool. I don't know what that is all about, but Duckle, that'd be kind of cool. Uh, let's see, Pop Collection. This dude right here. Barbie once again. What if we just randomly scrolled and saw like, oh, look at this Pokemon right here, front and center. Today's Japan character awards are made attractive. Many audiences, many audiences shows open till Friday. Look at that Pikachu right there, front and center. Pretty crazy. What, what if we scrolled and we actually saw like David Yu? That'd be insane. Or like Dan up in the picture. Like just chill, like, look like, that'd be pretty cool. Mudo, Mudo. Monster Strike. Wei and Ben looks scared AF, lol. <laughs> Are we getting Pokemon? We need Shonen Jump. Shonen. Heroin. Grand Blue. Dang, is that Flipper? What is this one? Christian Reese Layson. World premiere marina artist known around the globe. So they could legit meet. Look at this. Oh, snap. Marvel and Pokemon. Yo, what? What? Which company owns Transformers? I'm not sure. Let's see here. There was a photo of David Yu the other day, and CZ Binance. Wow, might be sooner than expected, man. Yeah, so that's. Uh, I saw that picture. I don't know if there's an updated one, but I saw the one that was um, essentially. Yo, Hasbro. Okay, so Transformers is an American and Japanese media franchise produced by American toy company Hasbro and Japanese toy company Takara. Tommy.it follows the battles of, let's see, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so yeah, that's what it is. Okay. Um, Hasbro, but... Interesting. I wonder if it's, is it dual owned? I don't even know. I should be looking this stuff up though, right? Uh, but that's crazy. You have Pokemon Marvel right there. Barbie again. Whoa! This is what I'm thinking that's happening, guys. Ultraman. Um, this is what I'm thinking that's happening in the background. Like, what do you guys think? I think Edo is coming to the platform. Maybe they're working on the Edo, you know what I'm saying? Who knows? Maybe they're trying to get that PR, like... Yo, we just crushed it on our drops. What do you think? What do you think about this now? What do you think about us now, uh, Japan? You, you know, please sign. Let's get some. Let's get some Edo in Japan, right? 
but who knows hasbro let's go um let's see here All right, yes, they have already shown Ultraman Classic. Hey, Kyle, let's go, Omi fam. Yo, what's up, Tap Trades in the house? We got another fellow YouTuber. Uh, hey, Tap, you wanna you trying to stream tomorrow, man? You trying to, you know, give a price prediction for us tomorrow? Um, I see you, you know, I, I bet you're watching it. Look at this Automobili Lamborghini. What? That would be a sick brand, the most desirable tie-in, super sport luxury brand, bringing it to the market products, bring it to the market products able to convey high quality Lamborghini and style lifestyle visionary pure and cutting edge pretty sweet but that's pretty much it the last this is the last very last post is from 2017 so this is pretty interesting guys like there's some pretty good finds on this page um on this Instagram page Pokemon Marvel in case you are just now tuning in um we had a Barbie there's um, a bunch of other anime brands that we found so we found some pretty solid stuff on here toki doki we found pop collection um what else did we find i mean we found quite a bit um sonic the hedgehog monster hunter like all these brands are like some of them already partnered with the dd right um where's where's wally you got the, the minions tr what's it let's say despicable me i don't know what that says but it's interesting to see what uh some of this says pac-man um you got a dude smoking a cigarette right here that's pretty cool just kidding uh, let's see what else we got here we got um we got some baseball teams we got the simpsons peter rabbit um you have a bunch of stuff here so pez petrus uh scroll back through see if we missed anything street fighter right here ragnarok If they get spirited away, Asia and Europe will go insane. The WDA is definitely going to be an NFT game. Which company will be will get their license? Yo, I think a WWE will get. Uh, they'll get, probably get beyond multiple platforms. I think, right? Because nobody's doing V. Like, look at this Mattel with Barbie right there. Um, so that's I guess Barbie's Mattel. Toki Doki. So we said that one. That was a good uh, a good find that we already obviously know is on the platform. Let's see if we can spot anything in the pictures. So what else we got like other brands that are kind of hard to see pretty much some of the same stuff there uh, I don't see anything new on that picture. This one. This one has like a bunch of little stuff You can't really see because quality Tom and Jerry Astro boy. I think it was the this Android That is literally an actual Android in real life the walking dead What are you collecting zombies? What are we gonna be doing collecting zombies? Just kidding the main characters would actually be dope though, right? Uh, what else we got? Some other anime brands. Like, that's pretty cool, guys. Um, I, obviously, I think these brands are at the uh, events, right? They're trying to they're trying to network Tokidoki again right there. Walking Dead again, Peter Rabbit. A lot of the same brands over and over. I don't know if we can find anything. We found Pokemon, which was like one of the biggest ones. On there, Tokidoki right there. Possibly Gundam. I'm not sure if that's Gundam for sure. That might be one of the like the the base model uh suits for like you know that the Gundams always just end up blowing up. Uh Thomas the Train. That's actually a pretty big collectible. Thomas the Train, you could collect trains. Like people are into that. Whoa, is that speed that's not speed okay, I thought that was speed racer for a second. I was like, yo, is that the is that speed racer? That would be sick. Uh, let's see. I heard Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings. Can you confirm? I haven't heard any of that. That's all. Uh, I've been kind of hearing Harry Potter just speculation wise. Thanks for watching every day in a mass day, says Tap Trays. Uh, everybody, huddle your, your your Ultraman. Exactly, man. People be selling these A suits. Look at this. People be selling their little A suits when Japan is about to unleash upon the world. And this is exactly why I didn't sell my Ultraman Ace. You know, I actually bought this actual physical one right here. Because I'm saying, yo. Once uh, all those $400 Aces get off the marketplace, like, 
yo it's it's game on those those ultraman aces are gonna be worth quite a bit and you guys have no idea so um that's pretty much it man like the the let's see the oldest post on here that has a big brand uh let's see pez that's kind of a big brand this was march 18th of this year if, if that's confirmed gundam then that's march 5th of this year which would be insane um Thomas the Train, that's a big brand, March 23 of this year. Uh, you know, you have other, let's see here. Toki Doki was there last year, October. Let's see, this this picture was from October as well. So very interesting. You have the game of life back here. Life magazine. Just getting life magazines back there. But yeah, guys, that's pretty insane, okay? So do I think do I think Snapchat or do I think Vivi is going to be more than one billion, two billion dollars? Of course, man. Of course, of course, man. This could be this could go to 60 million on a conservative level. And, you know, it, it, that's still quite a bit, right? That's like what, like 30, almost like 30 X of where we're at right now. Uh, there's alt of snack companies on that list for sure. Would be cool if they do a campaign where there's a QR code inside the bod or something where you can redeem an NFT. That would be sick. I've heard of that quite a bit. Like kind of like, um, like you get a yeah, you get a QR code with your snack. Kind of like what, you know, I think uh, what are those things called? Those little snack treats you used to get. You, they do it in cereal as well, where you would pull it out, and you get a prize. That'd be so super cool if they partnered with a, uh, a a snack brand and you pulled out and you get a chance to win like an NFT or something i don't know that'd be cool or you get like a pack right like you get access to a pack that'd be very smart it would be smart for the cereal companies and toy companies because it cuts down on plastic and, it, it, and it's good for the environment right happy meals exactly happy meals we've talked about that in the discord a little bit um partners with mickey d's yeah man that would be that'd be a good look for mickey d's too you know uh, cut down on the on the you know the plastic and and all that stuff plastics essentially made from oil you know so by essentially i mean it is made from oil so <laughs> um all right guys so what else i think that's pretty much about it guys like what else what else is there i mean what else we got in the news today cryptomaniac says i was in a news article so that was kind of cool let's bring that up talk about that for for a second let's which i had no idea oh shoot you know what i forgot to uh bring up guys i forgot to bring up this hang on let me see if i can pull this up yeri v so cameron petty who hops in the stream quite a bit if i remember right he's always on stream Does Gary V say, let's turn off the music for a second. Does Gary V say Ecomi, okay, in his latest, one of his latest videos. So let's turn the volume up a little bit. Can you guys hear that? I think there's just yeah. right now, or like, no, nah, like they are like, I'm going to still buy this shit and I'm going to buy a ton of like, so you hear that? So buy a ton of like and i'm gonna buy a ton of like so shit, and i'm gonna buy a ton of like so shit and so he says like it's like he says he says it weird he says it's like ikomi and it's like obviously ikomi but is it a, a freud and slip i think it's what they call that when subconsciously you say something that comes out and you didn't mean to uh kind of like when you're like uh i don't know what's a good example like you're uh, I'm trying to think of an example. Like, it, it sh I don't even know. Like, what's a good example, guys, of a Freudian slip? Ik Ikami, exactly. So, like, Illuminati. It's like the Illuminati, yeah. Yeah, so, I don't know, guys. It's like when you're, you, you're talking to... It's like when you first meet, you're, you know, you're crushing on a girl, and you, you mean to say, like... <laughs> I don't even know like what the the funny way to say that, but you say like, "Hey, nice to meet you." Like you want to go eat some lunch at the in the lobby, but you say, 
yo nice to meet you you want to go eat lunch in the in the bot in the booby or something like that i don't know that's a freudian slip i don't that's a bad example i'm terrible guys i don't know when you call a, bo ba a boy girl someone else's name exactly like you're thinking about somebody else you actually say their name instead of say like the person in front of you's name so he's literally talking about nfts right here so let's play it back I think there's just yeah. more right now of or like no nah, like the art like I'm gonna still buy this shit and I'm gonna buy a ton of like So he's talking about buying physical art and physical artifact type stuff, collectibles, physical, and then he's gonna buy Ecomi. Okay, alright, like you know what I'm saying? Gary V knows, like I've done videos about Gary V many times. I was the first YouTuber before anybody else decided to jump on the bandwagon. And talk about like Logan Paul and the Gary V like back here, um, way back then, where I said that it's a matter of time before Gary V figures this out, and which he already he probably already did, but he actually addressed it on Twitter and was like he started talking about um, somebody was faking his name on the VV app, and he's like he actually addressed that just a couple days later and was like, "Yo, that's not me," and so. It's interesting because he's protecting his own namesake on the app. Why would he do that unless he's interested in promoting the app in the future? Do you know what I'm saying? Logan Paul, act, you know, he let it slip during one of his uh, podcasts and streams. You know, only tokens are wagon. You know, we all know that. We all know that now. And I called it a long time ago, right? So that it, between those two guys, it was just a matter of time before these two guys... You know, I guess they both accidentally let it slip or uh, without telling everybody, they let everybody know. And now, you know, when they formally start talking about Omi, they formally start talking about the VV app, it's going to be, it's going to start taking off a lot quicker than what you guys are, are thinking. So I don't know where I was going with that. Oh, yeah, this, this uh, Ikumi slip. So what do you guys think? Whether he said it or not, he knows about it 100%. Okay, so that, that's not even a question. So that's why I think maybe it was a Freudian slip. Maybe he slipped because he said it real quick and then kind of backed out. Like he didn't know if he he wanted to say it for like because he knows what he's talking about. But at the same time, he didn't want to say it because he wants to keep it a secret because he wants to keep maybe accumulating more NFTs and more uh, Omi tokens slowly but surely, right? So it's a very smart move both on you know Logan Paul's and really Gary V's uh, part that why they would be wanting to sandbag a little bit um, when they could be, you know, watching this project a little closer, see what's going on with it and doing the investor move, right? Uh, because they both have massive following. So that's why I just want to say. Jake Gagain in the house. What's up, Jake? What's going on, man? Love your channel, Kyle. Yo, what's up, man? Uh, we got another YouTuber in the house. We got Jake over here in the stream. Welcome, Jake. What's going on, man? What's going on? Uh, thank you for tuning in, man. Jake's got a lot of good stuff going on on his channel. Doing the White Claw streams is what I hear. We got White Claw. In the ha we need to get Jake sponsored by White Claw, right? So uh, let's all let's all just get each other sponsored by brands we love. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I'll get sponsored because my name's Kyle. So maybe we'll get me sponsored by like Monster, and that would be hilarious. <laughs> and we'll get Jake sponsored by uh all by White Claw. Uh, Let's see, he says, tap trade, says JG in the house, Omi community is strong. Heck yeah, man. JG says, been watching Gary V for ages. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Did you also see Michael Burry last post uh, was, oh, let's get the music go back going, you know what I'm saying? So it's an Omi, it's an Omi party in the house. So we gotta get the, we gotta get the tunes going back. Let me turn it down just a smidge though. So it's not blasting out. Taps, how many VV NFTs you got? Yeah, yeah, Taps, how many how many NFTs are you just like a Omi whale? Um, you know what I'm saying? All right, Frank Garcia, funny, it's public and we all work too. I can't see that being a problem. I'm ready for my first drop. Brendan, welcome to the uh, the Omi community, man. Uh, welcome in, man. I'm, I'm ready for you to get your first uh, NFT token too. By the way, you know, we did uh, give away, you know, we did give away some collectibles on the channel. Death Mountain Trip uh, won his first. They, there's some pretty dope pictures, actually. It's on this pinned post. I'm going to take the pinned post down in a little bit. 
but uh, this was one of his pictures, which was super freaking sweet with the Batman. Um, and we had some others in there as well. This is another one that won the picture by I'm the Chef. A uh, pretty dope picture going through the warp tunnel, you know, time space continuum. Uh, but yeah, man, so I think Gary V, you know, maybe he mentioned it. I, I think he did. I don't know, guys. When soon? They just says, welcome B. What else we got here? Nice. The crypto made it's nice to meet you. And you say, I love you. <laughs> I'm not sure what that is. It's an old comment, though. Uh, let's see. Elo says, I replayed the Gary V like it was a hundred times trying to do, trying to figure out if he says Ecomi or not. Man, I think he did. I mean, let's just back it up one more time. I'm gonna buy Ecomi. Like, I'm gonna buy Ecomi. Like, I don't know, dude. He just said it so fast. Like, he said it so fast. I'm gonna buy Ecomi. Like, I'm gonna buy Ecomi. Buy this shit, and I'm gonna buy Ecomi. Like, I don't know, man. Did he let it slip out? But he was trying to retract it when he when it came out, and it and he said it funny. That's what I think that happened. I don't know, guys. You tell me. Actually, uh, I actually have 24. Just haven't been able in the app for the drop yet. Oh, dang. Okay, you got a pretty pretty nice amount. Uh, nice. The marketplace has has a lot of options now. As more get access mixed with drops, it's going to be crazy. I hope so, man. I hope so because I need market. I'm still not in the market. My um, crypto maniac, I think, is, and all he did is like sold three collectibles on there. I, I see. I placed a couple of collectibles for sale for like, you know, for an absurd amount of money. I was like ten thousand dollars just to just to do it for fun, just to test it out. And I actually bid on uh, one of the Batman's before probably Riso. Uh, before they shut out the marketplace and that's all I really got to do on the on the marketplace before they shut it down but I'm glad they are man I'm glad uh, I'm glad they uh, they're working on it because you know once once this thing scales up can I steal this for my YouTube video who is the creator oh okay I'm not sure what that uh, okay so I was just reading. This guy actually makes really good art. He's connected to Gary V. I did a video about this guy specifically. Uh, check out this guy, dude. He's he makes some like really sweet stuff. This is why I like pause for a minute just to show this guy. But look at this. He's this is his envision of his virtual NFT wallet, and he does like a lot of Gary V stuff. He's got Gary V like 2D art, and Gary V actually follows him, so which is pretty insane. So um, says he's from Shanghai. But look at this, uh, look at all this, like this art stuff he does. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, but he did something that was super interesting. He did like a VV, like art piece of art or a VV thing. But I thought this was very interesting um, with what he was doing. There's something that he did that was VV related. This is pretty dope. In the future, I'll own calls, NFT that you can never damage. So this kind of looks like a calls nft right i think calls would be a perfect fit for i think that's what david you really wants on the platform to be honest i think he wants calls um to come to vv so maybe they get that i hope it does come that'd be cool nice somebody let's see here do you have access to the marketplace another 5k allowed in yesterday no i do not unfortunately nothing special man we need a lot more people in time will tell apparently they're going to be optimized marketplace more than anything so i should be in market asap i'm looking for next week yeah i'm hoping they do it like on a day by day or every other day like rollout so yeah i hear that he was just doing this stuff right here like retweeting v vv um but yeah this guy is followed by gary v by the way so there's that you know what i'm saying but anyways, guys, man, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys smash the likes and all that good stuff. And, whoa. Oh, that's tap trades. Tap trades. I was like, I thought this was for some reason. Your picture reminded me of Elon Musk. I don't know why. When will there be a new announcement? Eduardo Riso, Batman is, is 5K to 15K in Marketplace. Me not selling because it will be worth 50K to 100K. <laughs> absolutely, man. With absolutely. Shaq says, man, got my diamond hands. Steve Shaq's got some uh, videos for us. He's got some cool videos, man. You need to check him out. Uh, I just can't play his videos because they're like, uh, you know, they got like a copyrighted song, so I can't really use his content. Uh, yo, there's Jake right there uh, in the house. 
and you got Ping Jun right there. I did a video on Ping Jun, how that dude is like legit. He's a legit entrepreneur. He's like the Gar he's like Gary V likes version. He's like Singapore's version of Gary V over there in Singapore. He's a really big deal, and he's actually known here in America. Uh, this is funny right here. I actually saw this one, yeah, by Dilo808 in the Discord, and that's funny. Uh, check me out, Kyle, after stream. I won't scam you. All right, I'll check you out. I don't know why uh, you would scam me, but... Uh, Shaq's the man, says Tap Trades. Brennan says Jaded got hacked. Dang, for real? Who's Jaded? Which one was Jaded? Or, or you mean Jake got hacked? Who got hacked? That's crazy. That sucks. Uh, I saw my MP access. It's like Vegas three days too long. Man, shoot. The Gale says later. What's up, Gale? We got another YouTuber in the house, man. Gale's legit, bro. You check his videos out. I love his breakdowns. He's always doing the, the phone uh, style YouTube videos. I love that, man. I love the I love his takes. He's, he's really funny, too. I like his vibes. Uh, let's see. Calls would be so sick. The wallet on my VV app shows $500 worth of OMI. What is that all about? Oh, you mean like the back end wallet? Yeah, it could be. I think it's. it could just be like a, you know, it, it could be stuck OMI back there from when you bought gems and you were like buying collectibles or something like that. I don't know. I've been explained about it like a hundred times, but I still like, yo, what? I've heard it's called the backflow of OMI that got stuck. But somebody said it was like, you know, when you bought, you bought a collectible and that was like the collectible amount in gems or something. I don't know. I've heard a million different things on that whole theory and hopefully they get that cleared. If not, I'd love to keep that Omi in that wallet. You know what I'm saying? Um, may the fourth be with you. Yeah, dude. What if, what if there was a Star Wars drop, like a light one? Like it was like Baby Yoda and that was it. It was like secret rare. That'd be sweet. Uh, Sora. What's up, Sora? Sora's everywhere, right? Sora. Uh, Gale. Jake, Kyle, Taps, all in the same place. What is happening? Is this the epic news that Comey was talking about? Yeah, we're all coming together like like the Power Rangers, and we're gonna form the the you know Megazord. The, we're gonna form the giant like robot, and then we're gonna fight off evil Fud. You know, we're gonna fight off like you know other stupid projects that suck. That's what we're gonna do. Um, right, guys. You know what I'm saying? All right, so. That is about it, guys. Man, that's about it. Um, we got a bunch of Ultramans. Oh, that's Sora right there. Look at you, man. You showing up on the stream? We got Sora right there, man, with all his Ultramans. Donations welcome. Hey, I got donations welcome, too, in the description, man. I'm not no whale. You know what I'm saying? Uh, anyway, Sora in the house with all his Ultra army, his fleet of just Ultramans right there. That looks super sweet, by the way. Batman. All right, we got Johnny Dunn right here. Hopefully get him back on the stream as well. Another OG, Bloom Dog with his art. Does a lot of cool stuff. I don't know, I'm just going through people's Twitters, apparently. Vivified right there. Oh, and I forgot to say on one of the, uh, I think the final winner that, uh, I think I have a Pepperino left for the, the picture contest. It came close. It came down to the uh, Godzilla Stay Puffed. It came down to uh, the last uh, NFT, by the way. I really was digging the the, uh, the Hawaii vibes or the island vibes, uh, whichever this island is. It could be anywhere, right? This could be like Fiji for all I know. Um, but, you know, I've been to Hawaii, so it kind of looks like Hawaii to me. I don't know. But it came down to that top one. The surgery one and I think the last the person that's gonna win the last one I believe is this one cosmic elf VV verser who parked yo parked their DeLorean right in front of David Yu's actual physical business he's been shopping there he or she's been shopping there for years it's, they say uh, for decades and so I think they deserve uh, a collectible uh, don't you guys so I think they deserve it but a real collector just showed up at David Yu took a picture of DeLorean in front of his business I think that's super dope so congrats to you on the last collectible cop okay so congrats on that I'm gonna message you after the stream uh maybe the true marketplace was the friends we made a long time ago or along the way
Eagle Eye says hi. Yo, what's up, Eagle Eyes? Any thoughts on the whales transferring Omi to the exchanges? Um, gonna take some of their profits when they the new drops, billions of Omis transferred out of wallets. Yeah, I'm not really sure what they're doing because that would be not very, in my opinion. You know, like if you had a lot of snap chat, like if you owned a lot of snap, right, in the very beginning and you knew you were a startup, snap was only worth a billion. Like, do you sell all your stock when it's only a billion? Or do you wait till it becomes a Facebook, like a juggernaut uh, of, of an app, right? Um, so to me, I don't I don't know what they're doing. Maybe they're moving it around to uh, di uh, diversify maybe a little bit. I'm really not sure what they're doing, guys. Um, I think it would be really silly to do... Um, let's see here. Let's see if we can find the whale account real quick. right here omi will watcher so yeah th this account right here shows 30 million to rank 272 i'm not really sure it's, sh it's showing just transactions so yeah this one right here 90 million uh rank four ascendix bitmax that's sent 90 million so i think that's like the the ranking is like what they're ranked at as far as like the wallet goes i'm really not sure um, I was looking at the actual back end of it on the Go Chain Explorer, and I was actually doing the research myself, and it shows like the the wallets and like what they're ranked and stuff. So that's very interesting. Uh, any thoughts on the whale? Okay, yeah, we read that one. Good Tetsu says when whales sell, the price drops because they own so much, so they just buy back right after. Yeah, yeah, they could be manipulating guys, so just be careful about that. Just keep your knowledge about that. Robo says they have tons of Omi all together. It's not much to them, but they sell the high and wait to buy uh, back and possibly. That's why whales can control the market, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, especially at the lower market cap stuff for sure. Correct regarding the ranking off GoChain Explorer. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, we go into the, the GoChain here. And you can kind of go into, let's see if we can look up the contract here. So we can kind of see like Omi holders and things like that. Like you can see like large token holders to small. Right here you can see the Omi holders right there. Token transfer. So this is how he's getting his data. It's just using the, the contract data, right? So that's pretty crazy, right? There's a lot of Omi going back and forth. So we'll see. We'll keep an eye on that. Um, hopefully they don't manipulate the market. If they do, you know, it's smart on them, but it's up to diamond hands diamond hands right to keep that price level because uh, if you don't sell if everybody does not sell you we, we create a floor we create a you know we create a brick wall that cannot be penetrated and the, the price has no choice but to bounce off that support and start going to the next level for more diamond hands to come in and that's the game back in the day on my twitter profile i put omi is the neck or is the new is there's the crypto gme and what i meant by that and i really meant that is diamond hands have to come in and support the next level and the next level and the next level and you know then i you know i put Mo omi moonshot that's been on there since you know day one since i found out about omi but um yeah that's obviously i meant that too and it, and it has moonshot a little bit but we got so much further to go on all that stuff very true diamond handed omi 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 millionaires oh millionaires make sure you guys are hitting the like button so others can join yeah i appreciate it man smash the like man smash the like smash the like i appreciate that it helps break through the the, the the youtube algorithm and so more people can find out about this and we all win together because if we're all saying we're all locking arms and saying diamond hands we go to the next level we go to the next level and the price does not uh go down right so look at bitforex you know we're trying to hit that floor hopefully we'll get some news maybe they're sandbagging the news a little bit so these these whales can try to move in and try to make some new opportunities for themselves i hope not but diamond hands baby if we work if we all work together like this there can be 
minimal manipulation. But it was a good amount to buy four million. Oh yeah, four million. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I wish I had just one million. Um, that's that's what my goal was when I found out about it, and I couldn't move cash fast enough when it was at point zero zero one um, around that price, and I got it around point zero zero two right as it was like starting to break out, and I was like, no. And I was gonna. My goal was to buy a one million at least. That was my first goal. And then my second goal was obviously like up to 10 million, but you know, it's starting to get harder to accumulate because the price obviously, and it's getting more expensive, okay? This is, yo, what's up Citizen Kip in the house, hodl baby? Yo, what's up Citizen man? It's been way too long, man. Long time no see. Long time no see, man. I sent you a Discord uh, invite. By the way, come check out the Discord, guys. Come check the Discord out. We got Discord built out. Um, we got. I uploaded a, a Dan emoji. I don't know. I don't know if Dan's gonna like that, but I like it, man. I like it. You know what I'm saying? But I have special roles in here too. I just enabled. I just applied for. I just set my memberships up on YouTube. So the monetization deal. Uh, you can do a. There's a Squirtle membership, which is like two bucks. Then there's like Ivy Slur, which is like five bucks and then there's charizard which is like 10 bucks and so you, you have special roles inside the discord they'll have like charizard next to your name and then i got higher levels than that i got like all the way up to master chief and super saiyan and the discord <laughs> but i had those like, yeah yeah citizen kid says yeah yeah i accepted as soon as i saw it bam thank you appreciate it man one love baby wax vision says dan emoji is is lit lol right right Man, come on, Dan. There was actually a dude that was in the in the main Discord, BB Discord, and he was like, his name was Dan. His last name was Johnson. I was like, and he was like, cheesy. That's why he said cheesy. And I was like, yo, I know it's you, Dan, behind, you know, this is your alias. I was like, but we still love you. But I thought that was funny. Dan Johnson. I'm like, that's that's not an alias, man. man. Dan Johnson? That's like John Doe. That's like Kyle Johnson. You know what I'm saying? Kyle, Kyle Doe. Like, you're not fooling us, Dan. We, lo we still love you, man. We still, we love you. So maybe we'll get Dan on for our next stream. You know what I'm saying? Let's get Dan on. Let's rally Dan to to have a fun stream. Maybe not so serious. I know he's got to promote the company um, and promote, you know, uh, keep it OG. He's got to keep it real and keep it 100. And be, you know, he actually does really good. Um, if you obviously if you watch his videos, he actually keeps it so professional, and that's so cool. Um. As far as that goes, like doing the videos, obviously they're like pre-done videos, but um, let's have him on the channel. Maybe we'll do a pre-done video if we can get Dan on the channel and, you know, we'll both be super professional. Maybe I'll get some uh, Omi swag by that time. All right, guys, uh, we got Pixie Pickles following on Twitter. I didn't even know I'm still on Twitter. Let's see, Ikomi and Vive giveaway. Okay, I thought this was like an official announcement for a second. Oh, by the way, in the Discord we have um I have a bot here that actually tracks the VV announcements right here. So you know if you want to track VV inside Discord, I set that up as well for you guys. Um it just basically every time they tweet, you will know in the Discord. So that's kind of cool too. We all kind of have discords now, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like this, everybody's got discord. I created this a while before VV came out. And so I guess I was like, yo, I should probably promote this a little bit. I think it'd be kind of fun. But it's pretty chill. Which Japan company? So we covered that earlier. Like, yo, we saw like a bunch. Like there's like a bunch on this page that, that possibly was there. Like Walking Dead, Astro Boy, uh we saw Tokidoki, Pokemon was like way down here. Baby Bay Stars. I don't know what that is, but Pikachu, Sonic. So we saw a bunch. Uh Thomas the Train. We saw about Tokidoki's right there, by the way. Uh, Barbie. So I don't know if those they, I mean obviously they were there more than like 100 percent likely. So that was crazy. It's a you know place where they can you can come together and do businesses and partnerships. I thought that was very interesting. And uh, yeah, anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. I got for tonight. I got to go eat dinner. 
with with wifey and uh and and do all that stuff i forgot to even look up the news article it was like tech news i forgot to even look that up i guess we could look that up before we as we close this out uh yeah yeah we'll look we'll, we'll uh we'll do that so tech times did an article here thank you crypto maniac for finding this Base stars a baseball team so that's another baseball team okay but they got quite a few baseball teams so this was kind of crazy man rumors have it apple ar gadgets will have new homepod style spatial audio feature that will bring a more re realistic ar experience this is a great innovation since it will increase the depth of sound of the tech giants new augmented reality devices including the new apple ar and then you got my tweet there right here and then it just kind of talks more about Apple. I'm not sure why they chose my tweet because it didn't seem to have too much. I don't know. But anyways, appreciate that. Thanks thanks for using the, my uh, my tweet there, Tech Times. I appreciate you. So that was very interesting. Pretty cool stuff. Stuff I did not expect to find. And thank you, Cryptomaniac, once again. But anyways, guys, I appreciate you um you could also earn roles inside here as well in the discord by simply just engaging and you and i think i'll have it set to like you know you reach a certain rank like that you engage like if the more you engage the higher level you get and then you can unlock like squirtle and like ivysaur and things like that so there there's going to be a non paid way to do it kind of like you, what you do in call of duty and fortnite where you grind through the battle pass and you unlock like the skins and things like that without having to necessarily pay for it so it's the same idea same uh, thing on the discord how to unlock the the roles and anyways that's all i got on that add the boss glasses and the audio not bad oh the bows yeah you got the bows okay i didn't know they had glasses that's crazy dude it's gonna be an ar like dominated vr world in the near future like in the short future like Apple coming out, like I see Google re-entering. They kind of failed. I think they came out too soon with with the with the app or the Google Glass. Um, I think they'll be back, obviously for sure. Facebook did well with the Oculus. They just kind of bought it from like what was it, Samsung? They just kind of like bought it and took that over, and that was pretty much a success. But kind of still a little too early. It's still good. Still streams on like Twitch. Um, people doing stuff on there. move over to the big screen uh so they still do like you know they're still streams and stuff and it still does well but i just see a, a, a total like bb is at the perfect time for all this right the perfect like it's all at a crossroads and it's just ready to take off to the next level so i foresee some big stuff in virtual reality obviously i think we all do um is going to be in the top exactly like we looked at the the yesterday at the coin gecko uh 2021 like quarter one and ecomi was at the top of nfts and the other category was gaming um collectibles obviously they're number one in that uh there's some other ones that i'm like yo vv is like all of those right it's like gaming it's collectibles it's it there's art there's like other stuff you know there's other aspects to it the gamification nfts or something uh that was an another one so that is it is what it is yeah and this crypto cause cortez is bullish for omi things to take away from the doge move retail loves cheap coins for sure unit bias memes it's we're good for the memes baby omi is the homie and like seriously guys this is a, a serious thing is omi because if omi becomes a meme coin and i'm not talking about a bad way i'm talking about a good way look like doge for instance that's a good thing like you're, if your coin's a meme coin that is perfectly fine if it's fun and it's it, it's in a positive way so meme that's the meme economy all right so there's going to be a lot of meme economy like i was telling somebody earlier like the reason why some of these nfts are going for millions and millions of dollars is because the meme there's like there's a meme economy aspect to it that's like not really there's i don't know guys you know what I'm trying to say? Off to work on a vid research. Solid as always, Kyle. Later, Omi fam. Thanks, Tap Trades. Yeah, get researched up for, for tomorrow, man. All right, let's get researched. No shit, MF. Mother trucking 30 cents today on some crazy numbers. Yeah, dude. Three cents. Yeah, man. Like, ooh. 
That is insane, man, for real. And so there's that. Retail does not care about fundamentals or supply. No, they do not. No, they do not. They actually do not. Look at GME, look at Doge, right? You should adjust your analysis going forward by heavily weighting this in dynamic. Exactly. There's just other dynamics that like the traditional investment guys just do not understand. There's a new way of investing, guys. And if you are a part of that new way of investing, you can do big things, okay? If you know those those uh if you know that you know the new economy that has came in uh you you know you have amc gme doge like you even tesla like going through the roof like like guys don't sleep on the new economy okay it's here it's here to stay um uh, but anyways guys that's all i got for tonight hope you guys enjoyed we went through the twittyverse we went through everything and i got my daughter saying i gotta go so we gotta go so Smash the likes, hit the sub button, and I'll see you guys in the next one on the VV app and in the next video. Peace.